Coach, today's practice, uh, yesterday you said you were going to switch up the O-line, the second team O-line, they have the same guys out there, you just kind of putting them on notice. Uh, in team, we but we um, we moved some guys around and, and um, gave some guys reps. Uh, we're, we're taking a look at, uh, at King, Gaisoa, and uh, trying to see if they can make a move and get in the mix Are you just looking with for the twos. Well, we're looking, one, we're trying to see, you know, who's developed and who can do what. The other thing is, <coughs> um, it appears, to, and I thought they had a decent day today, our second O-line, but it, it seems to me that they're happily settled in to being second O-line. Well, they're, they're not necessarily that, because we'll replace them if we find anybody better, and we're hoping that uh, everybody's elevating, and so, you know, it's constantly competitive, but... Uh, you know, and the portion of it is so a guy can do something one on one or something like that. But then, as far as the continuity and knowing the play and all that, so you know, there's a learning curve with a couple of those guys too. So that then we go out there and team, and uh, you know, even though I want to get those guys out there, even though I want to rep them, you know, that the others know the place just a little better. So we're, we are going to try to elevate them. We are going to try to have more. And we are going to try to move some people around. You had kind of Dillard and O'Connell working with the, the twos the last few days. Is that just for cross training purposes? You think? Well, th that that and uh, um, you know they'd have to fill in there, you know, potentially move somewhere if somebody went down. Then the other thing is, um, is again we're trying to get some of those other young guys so that uh, we don't have to do that. You know, so that we got reliable enough people in there that we don't have to do that. Do you feel like the first team O line you're pretty comfortable with that configuration at this point? Uh, yeah, I guess to the extent I can be. I mean, they got ways to go too. I don't think, you know, they're not special. They're, they they do some good things, and if we continue to improve, we can be good. You know, but uh, uh, we definitely have a lot of improvement to, uh, to get. I think. How big of an improvement has Frederick made from last year to this season? Well, he's better than he was in spring. He's better than he was in spring. The biggest thing is, you know, we just got to pack as many reps into him as we can. You know, because he hasn't been here very long. Third day in pads. What have you learned about the guys now that you're more full tilt? I, I thought I thought uh, you know I thought we were I thought we were aggressive. I thought we ran around. I thought there were some inconsistencies where you know uh, one side or the other would get on a run, and then the other side you know you'd like to see them step up. And I think there's a little uh, occasionally being discouraged about the previous play or being too excited about the previous play. So I did think we were a little up and down. We, we played of, hard, but we were up and down. What have you seen out of Jameer Calvin? Uh, a quick, good burst. We've got to get him better at releasing and, uh, and uh, you know, getting better down there around the goal line. What about just uh, being in Lewiston in general? We haven't got to uh, come up yet our first time, but five days in, is you guys getting done what you wanted to get done? Yeah, it's been a really good camp. I mean, we've had really good work, so that part's, you know, I think that part's gone real well. Mike, you have so many senior linebackers that are going to start this year with Boomer Dotson and the writer. How do you balance, you know, having them out there with giving some younger guys some reps potentially for the next season? Well, we have, we have some. I mean, we have, like, throughout the periods, you know, we get some of those guys' reps, and I think they're going to be really good. You know, it's just kind of the combination of, uh, you know, developing the experience so you're ready to go out there and it's automatic, you know. I mean, we have pretty good little training sessions with them, but we got to get to where, you know, they're not slow and thinking about what they're supposed to do. Is there going to be, like, a concerted effort to get them some game reps, too? Uh, we'll see. It just depends how they play. If they play good, if they play good, we'll just go ahead and substitute any of these senior guys with them, you know. Uh, and then we'll uh, take that as it goes. There's kind of no middle ground with the linebackers class-wise. you got a bunch of older guys, and then Sherman and, and Woods and Pele that are freshmen. What have you seen from those freshmen guys that have kind of gotten some reps past couple days? Well, uh, they're, they're fast and athletic, and then some of those bigger secondary guys, some of they, they move up and be linebackers. Coach Steve Gleason's getting the uh, Distinguished Alumni Award on Thursday. What's he meant to you in the program? What, what have you learned from him? How's he inspired you? Fantastic guy. Uh, first of all, he's a hugely inspirational player, and also he's inspirational now to you know to meet him and and his wife. And of course, uh, I see his mom a lot. She works with our student athletes in the academic department. And uh, no, I mean just a, a fantastic and courageous person, and uh, and more than deserving too. Last one for Coach. Uh, I know you talked plenty about 
we've asked you plenty about the running backs and kind of the luxury you have with them. Is it a, is it kind of where they all have their role at this point, or are they still kind of fighting for different reps, or do you kind of know where they're going to fight? Uh, they're fighting for reps. They're definitely fighting for reps, and I expect that to be the case all year. Can I sneak one in? Coach, oh. do you have a favorite follow on Twitter? Is there one account that you like more than any other? Uh, no, I, 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 you'd have to, I'd have to say I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. Uh, oh, uh, I like uh, I like the the, the the coach quote. So, you know, I think that uh, whoever put that together, that's a really you know really good deal. Thank you.